and will score a point. They are big enough to serve and small enough to listen, which doesn't happen in any other corporate hospital. Tell me one single corporate hospital where you can put a face, where you can ring and talk to the CEO. Nobody, except people like Sharon. That is where, in the future, the more corporatization, the more multinational hospitals come up from abroad, from all over the world, the more will be the uh, validity, the more will be the value-added addition of people like Sharon and his family. He is quite intelligent. He is uh, graduating his both daughters, Sparsh and uh, sorry, Santkriti and uh, uh, Srishti, both are here and both are going to be orthopedic surgeons, I am sure. And they will take over from Sharon when he becomes old, if at all he becomes old. I think he already subscribed to that American company where they want to keep him alive for 150 years. So that is the technology with human face and uh, wonderful to be here. And uh, I tell all of you, if your parents are suffering from arthritis of the knee and hip, the only way to go for is robotic surgery. That is out of conviction for the last two years, I'm telling you, the results are excellent and the patient outcomes are very good. And thanks so much, Sharon, for giving me the privilege to be on the stage with the minister. First time in my life. Thank you so much. I'm really honored. Wonderful. Thank you, Doctor. You've made all Spartians proud at the same time humble. Thanks once again for all those lovely words. Dr. Guravareti. Matiga avaru namma munde. Avare vaidhyaru hagagi e samaramadale avaru irudu. Hechina arthavanna tandide. May we all join hands to welcome him. Honorable Minister Dr. Ashwat Narayan. ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳೇ ಈ ದಿನ ನಮ್ಮ ನಗರದಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಭರವಸೆಯ ದಿನವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ನೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಯವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶರಣ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಅವರು ರೀಇನ್ವೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇನೋವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಡಿ ಕೋಡೆಡ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇವತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಡು ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರದ ನಾಡು ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇನೋವೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ it's become a culture knowingly or unknowingly our place and our state is a leader for the three consecutive years we have been declared as the most innovative state in the entire country <laughs> from the day it has been instituted from the niti ayog all three consecutive years we have been declared as the most innovative innovation should happen everywhere it is not limited to one place so this culture has taken forward to improvise how we have been living how we have been doing things we need to keep innovating improvising and this is a way forward probably in that direction dr guruva reddy has done his role he has taken the steps we had of all of us and we need to really appreciate and he shared his experience how his experience with the surgical robo macro the striker how he is made use for the hip and the knee replacement surgery we really appreciate sir the good experience uh, because the once you start using we need to share that in experience how good it is how bad it is that's most important so ellara ಒಂದು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಜಕ್ಕೂ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶರಣ್ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ಅವರು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಹೊಸತನವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇನೋವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿತ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಕೇರ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ 
city and has created not only for the city, nation, for different countries also. As a part of the medical tourism, is doing extremely good job, sir. I really appreciate it. It's my honor to be part of this function, whatever good things you have been doing, and I was given the opportunity to be part of this function. I really appreciate the kind of good work you have always been doing, sir, and you have been a real inspiration. I wish you all the best on behalf of the people of Karnataka and the people of our country. Atmire, Nijuku, Namali, on the Pratibena, you know, Nodbetre, Nangu, Gutir Lilla, ITBT, Sachun Agor Gunu. Nani, how will I take Bandijin in the Nangu Gutir Lilla? Nani, on the ITBT in the ITBT in Tankun Bande. Yavo on the Vegadali, Badlavanaka Akti, Nordaga, Nangi Asiri Agate. How to catch up with that Tanta? So it's a big, very interesting area and most uh, inspiring also how it can change the way things have been done in all the sectors and all fields and advancement and how our people have been building the technology for the entire world the technology building probably even if you take up the medtech in the field of medtech sir we already have many center of excellence across the state of Karnataka many centers from Indian Institute of Science to uh, Artificial Intelligence and Robotic Center, Art Park we have. We have uh, one more Minero, Minero Park, and we have uh, many of the bio incubators. In the bio incubators, we have, we do a lot of good work, sir. Now, the gene editing, the treatment, diagnosis, bioprinting, uh, the 3D organ printing, organ development, tissue engineering, the kind of work is going on is really amazing. Even to Nama Karnataka Delhi, Nama Deshik ke beka igron to yalla riti adanta medical devices na na utumba madlu import akte to. Even tille Karnataka Delhi yalla riti adanta equipment gulo medical device gulo yalla thayar akte ron ta undo stadava ki bali ta de. Even to vipro jia agli, cement agli, beer beer halwar Nama study ko igron ta halwar company gulo halwar products na develop marta adar. Haga Yvella Nordaga, Balas to Barvas in the Nordbodo, Yotu Nama, Surgical Robo. It started in a small way. The, the entire market is now not even crossed 1 billion US dollars, sir. It has to keep growing now. The usage of robots will gradually keep increasing. Probably the medical device equipment is now up to 50 billion US dollars. But when it comes to the robots, the, still the market has to keep growing and probably we start working in this direction. Probably the usage will keep increasing, as you said, as I already mentioned about how beneficial it is and minimal invasive and how the good experience of the beneficiary for the patient, how be well they have been benefited with this kind of surgical robo. Now these surgeries can be done by anywhere. Probably no need of coming to even hospital, probably Sharon can do it from his place. So that is the kind of advancement what we can see in the surgical robo. He can operate from anywhere. 5G coming in. Yeah, 5G coming in and they can do from anywhere. So this is something unimaginable. Probably within next, within next 10 years, not next 10 years, within next 10 years, particularly in healthcare, particularly in education, particularly in bankage, banking, you can see the new age business coming up within within 10 years you'll see the total complete changes in the particularly in these sectors it's going to change whether we like it or not the new age business is going to come into these sectors very strongly within the 10 years we'll see a big drastic changes and we are fully geared up sir probably we have started working in this direction we are trying to digitalize everywhere sir we were during the covid also we provided many of the ICUs through remote ICUs were developed, many of the teleconsultation, telemedicine, everything, you know, they were not uh, legally permitted. Now, today it's been legally permitted now. Many good things are happening. We are also trying to adapt all these things in our government facilities and we are trying to, trying to take it forward. Probably Bangalore will be the first place to have a smart clinics across in all the centers, all the PHCs will become smart clinics and digitalization. We have been emphasizing a lot. So this is a way forward. EMR and all these things and uh, data collection with regard to the healthcare. 
So good things are happening, sir. And uh, startup, we are the startup capital, and 55% of the startup valuation is from state of Karnataka and Bangalore. 55% of the entire nation belongs to Bangalore, and we are the third largest hub for the startups. <laughs> Numbers are growing, and it's very promising. Karnataka is emerging as the land of opportunity and the land of future much more than the Silicon Valley of US. That is the kind of potentiality we are seeing in the state and lot of, lot of opportunity, lot of opportunity, there's a lot of demand, we don't have the supply. We don't have the required manpower to get into these jobs. If five is the required number, we are getting, just getting one or two. There's a huge gap in the supply and a huge market, huge potential in all sectors. There's no space for even from street vendor to anywhere, the technology has been used now. From the street vendor to everywhere, every possible places. So now technology has become a part of learning, in, even in humanity, even in commerce, technology has become the core subject, sir. Wherever the children get into it, we have made, we have made sure all, each and every person will be learning technology and we want to ensure that each and every person is very well oriented towards the technology and all of us will work towards that and we really appreciate the steps taken by you and uh, this will go uh, way ahead of us, what we have been thinking and many of the medical colleges have been start working in this direction. So they have been training many of their students particularly in this direction to make use of all these surgical robots, 3D printing, BIRAC, implants, all this work I have started in many of the institutions. It is percolating very well and you can see there will be very good supply chain of, you know, skilled manpower to complement with your all good work, sir. We have been all working from all 360 degree to ensure all the requirement of the futuristic development will be very well addressed by our system. Yes, so, on their math health and in a hitchin and in a samaya tolala, you have to yell a ritia than the world area, Namanado, it is Vishoke, other noda ritinally, you have to yell a shet to the low, ballast to Barvasenda, New York shet rail tiro, fintech in the erdo, edutech in the erdo, e commerce, SARS, any, any, any field for that matter, we are having the fantastic uh, talent and we can do wonders will start working and many of things can start localizing and we can take it forward in much more bigger way. I stay here and I am a little bit of 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 a Laghaniya Matagalu Mananiya Sachivarinda and the Spurshans are indeed energized and motivated by all those congratulatory words and compliments by the Honorable Minister Dr. C. N. Ashwat Narayan. Matume nimige dhanivadagalu, sir. We have with us uh, Mr. Prakash Dhoka, founder chairman of 3D Incredible. May we request him to kindly come upon the dais to re receive this uh, bouquet from Dr. Sharon Patil. The 3D printer was uh, launched. We have Prakash Dukha, founder chairman, 3D Incredible. Good evening, everyone. I am Prakash from Pune Incredible Additive Manufacturing. Thank you very much, Doctor, for inviting us and making a part of your journey. And Doctor Reddy, I just want to share with you, you completed 3,000 uh, surgeries with this robot. I'll be we will be completing 3,000 customized implants in this year. We are the first company in India to do that. And as you said, 3D printing also, this customized implant, saves uh, surgery, surgery time, saves uh, uh, an research time, saves the theater time, and makes the patient fast moving and easily version. So thank you very much.
Thank you, Prakashi. Thanks once again. Uh, we now have a small AV on uh, the roadmap to Sparsh Digital Transformation. Uh, There is very little doubt modern medical science has transformed the way we live our lives. However, still needs to have precision as a goal. The modern technology which is coming into the healthcare is going to achieve that undoubtedly. Sparsh wants to pioneer that in our country and also lead the world in this transformation. We at Sparsh are super excited about getting into this area and make human life so much more better in terms of experiencing the way healthcare is delivered. Yes, the journey continues, the journey of Sparsh towards betterment, towards excellence, towards perfection, and that is Sparsh. This Sanjayana, you all are very excited. You all are very excited. You all are very excited. Vote of Thanks will now be, be proposed by Group CFO Sparsh, Shri Badri Narayan Shrikanth. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's time to express gratitude. Uh, it's thanks time. Uh, on behalf of Sparsh Group of Hospitals, we would like to thank our beloved chief guest, Dr. Ashwat Narayan, for making it to the program despite his busy schedule. Thank you so much, sir. I'm, I'm sure you would love these technology initiatives. Dr. Guruva Reddy, for being flamboyant as always he is. Flamboyance and Dr. Guru Reddy is very synonymous to each other. <laughs> Dr. Sharan Shivraj Patil, Chairman of Sparsh Group of Hospitals for embracing technology and striving every minute to improve patient experience. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Mrs. Meena Patil, who is the biggest strength for Dr. Sharan Patil. Thank you, Mrs. Meena Patil. Striker under the leadership of Meenakshi for partnering with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> media, the entire media for being always supportive. Thank you. 
the entire branding and communications team under the leadership of Parnivel. I think you guys did a fantastic job today <laughs> to make this event a wonderful success. It's amazing. Thank you, Parnivel and team. Great job. Ms. Aparna for an excellent comparing. Thank you. And Ms. Tanisha for the prayer song. Thank you so much. Our event partners, Story Experiences, Robo Entertainment, and the entire audiovisual crew. Thank you so much. And thanks to Four Seasons for the wonderful hospitality today. And for the doctors and each and everyone sitting here, thank you so much for making it to this program. Thank you. And one thanks written to you, Mr. Badrinara and Shrikant. Thanks for out of thanks. And uh, yes, these thanks are announced, but millions and millions of hearts thanking the entire Sparsh team for that touch of life. And this touch of life is eternal. Thank you, Sparsh family. Thanks once again. Matometa Melrigu Namaskara Shubhamastu. team from uh, Sparsh, uh, please stay back. Give us another 10 minutes and the next session will start for you. Combined meeting uh, after another 10 minutes. Please be with us. Thank you. <laughs>